So after not having anything come out about season 5 for like a hot minute, we finally got something. So the second trailer of season 5 was released by Disney Portugal, so everyone say thank you to them. The trailer starts off with one of the akumatized victims we saw in the first trailer, which we don't know the name of the akumatized victim, but we're pretty sure that the person that is akumatized is Veronique, the person that gave everyone a tour in Puppeteer 2. Anyway, we see her walking through a set of doors, and then we see Ladybug throwing what I think is a clock. Honestly, really curious how she's going to defeat a villain with a clock. Next is back to Veronique, but this time she's standing in front of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and she's with superheroes, and as we all know, Monarch has the miraculous, so clearly those aren't the real superheroes, because obviously it's not possible for the real superheroes to be there. Plus, Ladybug and Cat Noir are literally standing right next to her, but the real Ladybug and Cat Noir are standing in front of her, so obviously these aren't going to be the real superheroes. I definitely feel like this is going to be a Puppeteer 2 situation, where all of the people that Ladybug and Cat Noir are fighting are just wax statues. It also makes sense that they're wax statues because Veronique does work at the wax museum. Plus, her outfit does have a lot of stuff that looks like wax on it. I mean, her hair is literally like a candle. Anyway, we also see Daisy in a gumball machine looking thing that has a pig symbol on the front and Monarch touches what I could imagine is one of the rings to the symbols. And then we end up seeing a pink glow and Daisy starts to disappear, which if you've been following along with the spoilers and stuff about season five, you know that the rings are what Monarch uses to transfer the power of the Kwamis to the akumatized victims. So that way, Ladybug can't get any of the Kwamis or Miraculous back if she defeats the villain. So anyway, yeah, that's just what I think is going on here. He's transferring the pig's power to the ring to give to the Dark Owl, if our theories about him getting that Miraculous are right. Also, for the gumball cage thing itself, I was kind of thinking that maybe the reason he kept them in the cage is not only so that way he'll kind of have a way to keep them contained, but also maybe the cage blocks them from being able to use their own powers. Not entirely sure how that works, but I've gotten a lot of people that have asked why they don't just use their powers to leave Gabriel and go back to Marinette. So I was thinking it kind of makes sense that the reason they can't is because they've been put in the cage that doesn't allow them to do it. Anyway, moving on, we then see this. And I just have to say, where has this transformation been all this time? It looks like 10 times cooler than any of the other transformations we've gotten. Not to mention, his eyes look really cool. They're creepy, but cool. He does still look ugly though, so not everything looks that cool. Next up, we see yet another Kwame in one of the gumball cage looking things, this one being Kalki. We also end up seeing Bark in one of these as well, and I just have to say, they look so sad and scared. I feel so bad for them. Then we see a clip of Cat Noir turning his head to probably Ladybug, and call me crazy because I could be totally making this stuff up, but this almost makes me think that this could be a part of a scene where Cat was about to storm off because he was mad, potentially about something that Ladybug wasn't telling him. And then right as he was about to run off, she blurts out whatever she was going to say, and so he turns around, and that's why he kind of looks like his heart dropped for a second when he turned around. Honestly, don't know why I think this. Maybe it's just because of Cat Noir's facial expression, or maybe it's just because I really want Ladybug to tell Cat Noir about Cap Long. Either way, in this scene, some secrets better be spilled. Now, here's my personal favorite scene, and it's of Cat Noir and Ladybug grabbing each other's hands, but the best part is the love bubble things in the background. I don't know what's going to happen after they start holding each other's hands, Hands, but I think something has to happen because I don't really see them just grabbing hands would make the bubbles appear Like I feel like there has to be like this really cute moment before and after they start holding hands Then we see Ladybug and Cat Noir turning to look at each other and guys their height difference I'm obsessed with it. Then we see them turn around and kick a door down Which we also saw in the last trailer, but I thought I would add it here because why not? Next, we see Daisy yet again, but this time they're appearing back into the gumball thing, and they look exhausted and sad. I honestly can't with this season. It's going to be so hard to watch just because of how horrible the Kwamis are being treated. And very lastly is of Ladybug and Cat Noir with the water power-ups and Ryuko laying on the ground. But obviously, this isn't the real Ryuko. It's most likely just a wax statue of her, considering Monarch has the miraculous. And also, you can see like the black card thing on Ryuko's face that Veronique has. Anyway, that is it for the second trailer of season 5. Also, before anyone asks about release dates, we do not have any release dates for specific episodes, but a lot of the TV channels that release Miraculous episodes have said that they are going to start releasing season 5 in October, towards the end of October, so that's just when I would expect episodes to start coming out.